Well, howdy y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a gardener, uh, you like to have labels for your plants. Um, and so, but you get those little plastic ones that, you know, eventually the writing and stuff wears off of it. So I was like, well, uh, you know, being a woodworker, uh, what could I make um, that could uh, last a few seasons um, and that would make my garden, you know, look even better. Um, and so I came up with this. These I've had for a while now. That's why they're all dirty and it just rained, so uh, forgive the mud and stuff on it. But this is what I've come up with. It's just different little garden signs like this. So I, um, I just painted on there. My sister helped me uh, paint some of this on there. I drew a little jalapeno there. Uh, I have just the plain ones that say like zucchini. Here's one that's summer squash. I have other ones uh, out there, but these are the ones that I figured I'd pull in just to show you guys. But um, it's very simple design, super easy. They're made out of cedar, so uh, they should last. They're, they're naturally weather resistant, um, but these are like really cheap to make. Uh, all you need is one cedar fence picket. Um, those, depending on your area where, where I live, it's about $4 um, for a six foot cedar fence picket um so all that's all you need for this project uh so without a further ado let's get building okay so we're going to start out by just cutting a 13 inch piece off of the cedar picket this is going to be for the stake part that goes into the ground and then we're going to measure two seven inch pieces we're gonna end up cutting these in half in order to make the sign. Okay, so we're gonna just move over to the table saw and move our fence to one and a half inches. Okay, then you're gonna go ahead and take your 13 inch board and just rip it down. You should be able to get three stakes out of this. Okay, so next up we're just going to be moving the fence, uh, the table saw, to where you can rip the 7 inch pieces in half. So this next part um, is totally up to you. If you want to sand these um, to make the sign part smooth, maybe to make it easier to paint or whatever you're going to do with it, uh, you can do that. Or if you want to just leave it like this. It's going outside anyway, and I've never found it a problem to be able to paint on something that's a little bit furry, um, but that's totally up to you. Okay, so how you're gonna assemble these is pretty simple. You just take one of the sign pieces, um, and then you take one of the parts that go into the ground, and then you just line it up here. Obviously, you might wanna sand some of the furs left over from cutting, but anyway, you're just gonna be lining it up just like this. And then about that much is going to be going into the ground. So that way you don't have to worry about it falling over eventually or whatever. Um, and another thing that you can do, depending on how you want to assemble it, how I do it, uh, for me personally, this is for my personal use, is I just use some wood glue and then some uh, galvanized brad nails. Um, and just do it that way. Um, or um, if you want these to last even longer, uh, you could take small screws um, and do that instead and s screw it here instead um, because this is going to rot a lot faster than this is uh, because this is actually going to be in the ground um, and so it's just bound to rot faster than this. So just depending on what you want to do, how you want to do it, it's totally up to you, how you build it, wh whatever you want to do. Um, so you could just put screws into here and then whenever this rots, uh, you could just take the screws out, grab yourself another one that you made, and then just screw it back to it, and that way you don't have to keep repainting, you just have to replace this. Now one more thing before I start to assemble it that I remembered to mention. Um, this is also, once again, up to you, up to your preference. If you want to make like a little spike down here at the bottom with, with uh, miter cuts, 
Um, you could do that, that just makes it easier to go into the ground. Um, I found that it's not that hard to put it into the ground without it. Or if you just want to do one straight miter cut this way just to have a sharp end here, it doesn't matter how you do it. Um, just whatever your preference is, I would say if you're going to sell these, then I would probably put the miter cuts on there. It uh, just shows the customer that it's going to be pretty easy to put into the ground uh, from what I would think. Um, so totally up to you how you do it. Um, I'm just going to assemble it this way just for the sake of this video. But if you want to do the miter cuts, I would recommend doing that if you're going to sell them. Alrighty, so that was as simple as it was. Um, I still have this much of the cedar picket left, and I was able to make three uh, plus one more of these sign parts. So if you wanted a replacement or something like that, um, and it was just that simple. I mean, with filming and everything, I think it took, I would say that it probably took me about 20 to 30 minutes uh, to make these, that's including filming time. Um, so this is not that hard, but again, there's so many other things that you could do with it. Um, if you want to get creative with it, uh, like I said, just adding the miter thing down here, I think that it would also add to the aesthetics as well. Um, but just with up here, uh, there's so much you could do with it. You could do what we did. You could do what I did, uh, where you just paint it on there, which kind of gives it that rustic look. If you have a laser engraver, that would be cool too. Um, stencils maybe. Uh, just whatever you have. Um, or you could leave them blank and let the customer do it. Um, totally up to you how you do it, but it's just some simple, easy project that I know at least for me, I love having labels for my garden. Uh, even though I know what a lot of the stuff is, it's just nice to have labels just in case um, something happens and you forget. Um, or, you know, just to, add, just to add character to your garden or somebody else is coming to look at your garden, they know what everything is uh, using the labels. Um, so this is just something that's super simple that probably would cost you, if, just a rough guess, probably about 20 to 30 cents each to make. You know, that's not bad at all for garden labels. Um, and these are going to last, you know, all year. The writing's not going to come off of it. Um, you probably could have it for two growing seasons if you do the thing where you have a replace a replaceable um, stake. Uh, you know, it's going to last even longer. Just Again, put your own twist on it. Um, make this design better. This is just kind of the base design. Y'all do with it as you want to. Um, but just something really simple, um, but effective to get, you know, to help with your personal garden or to help uh, those garden gardeners out there that don't know how to woodwork, um, that are looking for something, you know, good looking and and uh, hardy to. Uh, be out in their gardens. So, um, I would recommend um, if you're going to paint or stencil or pretty much anything um, other than if you're going to sell it blank, um, I would recommend not finishing down here because I, I wouldn't want this in contact with the good garden soil, especially for the organic gardeners like me. I don't like to have, you know, finish and stuff touching my garden soil. Um, but I would recommend if you're going to paint it or something, I would do a nice um, finish on the sign part. Um, and then that way, you know, this is going to last a long time and your writing is not going to smear when it rains and all that kind of stuff. But, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, it's just something super simple to make just to have on your website or your Etsy account or wherever, wherever you sell on. or. If you want to just make one yourself to kind of save money, I mean this is a big money saver when it comes to buying labels, and it just it makes it, it makes uh, your garden look a lot better as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. If you like what you see here, please don't forget to leave a like, and also if you haven't yet, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I'd love to have you a part of this channel. Um, but until next time, guys, keep swimming upstream.